Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about one of the most frequently asked questions when it comes to Java. Interviewers typically use it to kick off the interviewing session and see whether a candidate has some basic knowledge about inheritance in object-oriented programming languages. So without further ado, let's get started. Does Java support multiple inheritance? It is always nice to start answering by explaining what inheritance is in general. Inheritance is one of the object-oriented concepts that represents a mechanism in which an object of a class acquires all methods and fields of a superclass. But can it acquire them from multiple classes? Let's have a look at the following class diagram. We have an abstract class electrical device. Let's add two more classes called mp3 player and camera. Both mp3 player and camera are electrical devices, so it makes sense that they extend electrical device class. Now, let's assume that somehow, somewhere, there's a device that would have both functionalities of playing few songs and also taking some nice pictures or videos. And I don't know, let's maybe call it a smartphone. Naturally, it will extend those two classes. Now let's go down one level deeper and have a look at the implementation of these classes. Here we see an abstract class electrical device that we mentioned previously. And we all know that devices can be switched off, so we also added one abstract method that does this. Both camera and mp3 player extend the electrical device class. And since they have their own way of switching off, we have two different implementations of that method. Now let's see what happens with the smartphone. Can it extend both camera and mp3 player? Answer to this question is not really. But why? Well, if you look at the restart method, which switch off would smartphone class call? One from mp3 player? Or is it the one from the camera class? Java compiler cannot really decide which one, so that's why it complains as you can see. Let's have a look at the class diagram from the beginning. If you move away from your screen by a few meters, you should notice that this diagram has a shape of a diamond, which is why this problem in object-oriented programming is well known as diamond problem. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it and you would like to see more content of this type, please click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and we will try to respond as soon as possible. Till next time, goodbye.